and good morning. I decided to do a quick live. I'm not going to be looking straight at the camera because I should be watching where I'm going. Uh, I don't want to be on one of those YouTube videos where somebody's walking and they're looking at their phone and then the next thing you know they fall into a hole or something like that. You know, uh, I don't care about famous, but I can tell you what, being famous, but I definitely don't want to be YouTube famous for something like that. I got to thinking about something that occurred yesterday. Yesterday I had a funeral for a woman that was in her 70s that passed away. Funeral home had called me and there was quite a number of children and whatnot. Again, because of COVID, we're really not able to have a ton of people there. Although those restrictions seem to be loosening a bit. But something happened. We left the funeral home yesterday and I slipped in between the lead car and the funeral coach, as some of you may call a hearse, and we proceeded to the cemetery. We did not have escorts. Sometimes families can't afford it or choose not to have an escort, a police escort, because they feel like it may not be, you know, maybe necessary. So yesterday we didn't have an escort. As we were heading up what should have been a very simple path, which is probably why we didn't have an escort, we, we suddenly were, he were heading down this, this sort of back street because where the cemetery is at, this particular cemetery was not a major thoroughfare. So we're on this road, and as we're heading through this neighborhood, but a main road through a neighborhood, all of a sudden we see blue lights. And the funeral director is in front of me, the funeral coach is behind me, and then there's about 10 cars behind those. The next thing you know, we realize the blue lights have the road literally blocked off. So we can't get to the cemetery now, going that straight path. The next thing you know, we have to take a detour. And the funeral director has us winding through all of these other neighborhoods. And I can't imagine the people who were looking out their windows at that point, because what they do is they see, they see a car come by with funeral flags on it. They see a couple of black cars. They see a funeral coach. Then they see about eight or 10 cars. And I, I had to imagine, what are they, they must be wondering, why, why is there a hearse going through my neighborhood? Because normally that wouldn't, be, that wouldn't happen through those back streets. So uh, suddenly then we made our way around and we got there. In the midst of the detour, we lost a bunch of family members. By the time we got to the cemetery, there were only about three cars behind us and they were late arriving due to the detour. And I was thinking to myself this morning, how interesting is that, that there's a detour on the way to a funeral? It's pretty interesting, right? I think that life is full of detours. Life is full of, of of detours that we're not expecting. And often those detours come at the most inopportune times. And if we're not careful, if we're following somebody else, when that detour happens, we can get ourselves lost. Lost, detoured, on the way to the end. Life is full of detours on the way to our final resting place. We can either get mad at the detours and get frustrated or, you know, criticize them, complain, curse at them, do any of that. We can literally get upset with the detours, complain about it, stop, freeze, get fearful, say this isn't fair. I mean, we can go through all kinds of things. But the bottom line is, is that when a detour happens and it's not up to us, if it's not because of something that we've done, we simply have to take the detour, go around that way, and continue to get to the destination. Because one of the things that we realize is that there's many ways to get to the destination that we're trying to get to. I'm not saying get to the grave, but the bottom line is, is that we will get to the end and we'll take many detours along the way. It's going to be what we do with the detours that counts. I hope everybody has a great day and we will see you soon.